you're shamelessly running a campaign to cancel what Douglas on your page, right? Right? Because they performed at Mashuja Day at a state function. You know, this country be anything but an artist. There's no difference between you and that dictator which you're trying to oust. There's no difference between you and the system that you're pretending to fight. I'll say this because Anguka Naya is not a song that was born in the protest. It's a song that came out before the protest, before we hit the streets. You don't support these guys because you were not streaming that song until the protests came. But the young men were in studio working hard. Let me tell you, you cannot cancel these guys. If those young men keep on steadily at their craft and hitting the studio, they're going to dominate the airwaves. You don't stream their music. You don't support them. When's the last time you, you proposed them for a corporate gig? For any Mashuja Day celebrations that you planned, did you invite them? Because, And I say this because uh, a lawyer can be both in the revolution and go to court and argue for matters for the state, for the very state that you, you asked to fall. Heck, to argue against one of the people who ordered for the for, who withstood and, and 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 oversaw and supervised the killings of young people and still come back and you're gonna own them a doctor is going to treat a despot but nah they're just doing their job but god forbid that an artist god forbid that an artist will do their craft and their craft will bring them a, a gig in a state function you don't even enjoy urban tone yeah you listen to it in a club you don't it's not in your spotify playlists so you cannot cancel this young man However, going back to the artists, what's the difference between uh, them performing at a state function and your grandmother who supplies beans to a government school? What's the difference between you who we were on the streets protesting for to get internships at the Public Service Commission? What's the difference between that and the JSS teachers who work for the government? If anything, the president does not directly procure music. Music for any state function is, procured, is, is organized by the PPMC. And all your favorite artists, if, any hit maker, most of them, I could say 99% of them, rehearse at the PPMC. It's a free space. It's a great space. as space for uh, dancers and, and music. And it's just a great space. But the reason why I'm also saying there's no difference is because you, just like the system you're trying to fight, you see a good thing. You want to appropriate it. So we took this young men's song and we decided that this is going to be a protest anthem. And now that they've gone to perform at a state function, which is... Also a form of protest because Anguka Nayo being performed in front of those people is a kick in their face. It's not a fault that they don't see it. It's not Wadagli's fault that those, those guys, losers don't see it. But you, once they start acting different, you want to kill them. It's because you don't have a gun. But there's no difference. I now see the people who voted for Ruto. I understand how we could find this government. But now you pretend you're all up in arms. You want to cancel. You want to act on everything but the things that you're supposed to be acting on. And then artists are also joining the train. You can't even stand up for other artists. The whole world, the whole country knows what everybody else is supposed to be doing. When you see these people selling their cars or their street laptops or their cameras or whatever it is that people sell on here, you don't see them pushing that on their business. They separate their work and their activism very, very clearly. But for artists, no, put those love songs aside. Don't tell us about uh, women or drugs or whatever it is your emotional experiences are. Now we want songs for revolution. It is a hard time to be an artist. But then, this even ties to the point that I had said, that people hate poor people. You absolutely abhor it. Because these are young men who are doing what they were found doing the thing. These people have just been hitting the studio consistently and doing their thing, and now their talent has brought them to, to great people. I don't see you tried your pastor. I don't see you tried anybody who voted in this guy. I don't see you tried the people who supplied sound. No, but it has to be. It's the artist who has to take the faults. Yeah, so you go ahead with that stupid campaign of yours. Yeah. But you're doing that because you're an armchair revolutionary. Because you can't do anything. You won't show up for anything that's meaningful. You just want to spread hate. Change is not going to come because you're a little hater. And the people who are doing the things are not going to stop doing the things or saying the things because there's a little hater called Abscondita on... Uh, Twitter uh, with 13 followers saying the platform whatever has dropped drop so end of rant oh what ugly is maze kazi poa na nyimu endele kufanya mziki msisikize ya watu wewe if you're a young person coming from the ghetto usisikize ya watu if you're hitting the studio as an artist 
make your art. Don't care about these people. They're going to consume it anyway. They can't they can't help it. They're living sorry lives and they want to project it on you. But also remember, it's just a handful of people who are spreading the hate. The country loves you and the craft what you're doing for the craft, what you're doing for music, what you're doing for the definition of the Kenyan sound is very important. And we see it and we appreciate it. Keep doing it. Ah, to come on kwa make serika sana wange na kwa stadium wash out. Ruto must go. But wana wana jifanya. They just want to crucify anyone. Anyone but the people they're supposed to be crucifying. Si mona wana tetea politicians when you are lee saidi ka kwa uwa. These ones, these very same Kenyans. You guys do your thing.